I can't believe we are living in the era of AI because this is insane. Canva has just made some major improvements to Canva code and I've been experimenting with it all day and you are not going to believe what I built without even writing a single line of code because honestly, I don't even know how to do that. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an interactive seller net proceeds calculator right inside Canva. Yes, you heard that right. You can actually build a working calculator website widget that instantly shows your sellers what their final net will be after commissions, fees, and all other payouts. So whether you are a listing or real estate agent who wants to impress sellers at a listing presentation, or you just wanna learn how Canva AI can take your real estate game to the next level, this tutorial is going to blow your mind. So grab your coffee, grab your laptop, open up Canva, and let's code. To preface this tutorial, you will need the paid version of Canva to access this premium tool. So if you have yet to try out Canva Pro, you can scan this affiliate link on screen here or find the link in the description box down below to try Canva Pro for 30 days free. Or if you partner with me at eXp Realty, you get free access to Canva Pro. So scan this QR code on screen to learn about our partnership perks or find a link in the description box down below. Now, with that said, let me give you an idea as to what I built and how I came about it. So what you're looking at here is a widget that is a website widget per se, and this is interactive. So here in Alberta, where I am located, we have this tiered commission structure. So this is why I have a two scenario kind of calculator, one for a tiered commission structure and one for the flat commission rate. Let me just fix my mouse here so I can zoom in on here. And so here are two different scenarios you could take to your sellers. So this would be in the instance where let's say if we list at this price, but let's say in when it comes to the case of actually selling and getting a purchase offer, um, this is what could be the final sales price. So this is just a fun little calculator to play about. So essentially, let's say for ease, I'm just going to go with a flat commission. We're going to do 3%. And then for here, scenario one, let's say the sales price is 500, 45,000. And over here, we're gonna go, let's say best case scenario, we get a little bit more. So we're gonna do 568. I don't know, that's a bit of a jump, but I'm just, I just wanna show you the differences between all of that. So all of these are fillable fields that you can play about with, right? So let's say in this case, maybe the client has uh, two, hundred thousand that they need to pay off so i would do that same number over here and let's just keep these cleared so legal fees we'll just say two thousand two thousand um other fees for the sake of showing you how this works let's just go a hundred and a hundred and then you can see here for this scenario this is what the commission rate would be and then it shows you here the net uh, sales proceeds so basically it takes everything uh from here the sales price it subtracts all of these different things and will show you what your net sales proceeds would be and then it'll also show you the difference between scenario one versus two so the commission difference in this case um for scenario two because this is a higher price point the seller will be paying about 690 dollars more for commission and then the difference between net proceeds would be around twenty two thousand. so again i built all this with canva without a single line of code so basically how this came about is because when i was doing real estate i had this seller net sheet that i had just in a plain google sheet and this is cool um but it's boring it's not really interactive and i can't essentially put this out as a website, but with Canva AI, I can. But when I was going through the process of this, I was thinking to myself, how would I relay this to Canva AI? So you kind of need a messenger in between and my messenger is going to be chat. GPT. So essentially what I did is I opened up a chat. I gave chat GPT a screenshot of my settler debt sheet from my Google sheet. And essentially I just talked through it with my microphone. I don't really type with chat GPT. I just use dictation on my computer. So that's why my grammar looks crazy in here. But essentially I asked it to help me write some code or a kind of prompt I could then use inside 
Canva AI. So it thought for about 48 seconds, I am using the paid version of ChatGPT because honestly, if you're in real estate, you should be using the premium paid version of ChatGPT. And it actually wrote me this whole line of code as well. So as you can see here, it's given me two scenarios. Um, again, because in Alberta, we have this tiered commission structure. I know. But any which way, I wanted to see if it could actually do that. Um, and what I did was I just simply copied this code here by clicking this button, copy code. And then I went into Canva AI. So you're just going to go to Canva and then you're going to locate to Canva AI and it should bring you to this page here. Now, once you click on this, describe your idea and bring it to life, you want to go ahead and just toggle this on the code here. And then I just went in and I just simply pasted what ChatGPT gave me and I let this just riff. So let's see if what it will create now this uh, now that I'm using the same prompt but this is the second time I'm generating it so let's go ahead and submit this and see what it will create for me down here so it's going to say it says I'll create a professional seller net proceeds calculator that compares two price scenarios side by side with tiered commission calculations so it's generating code and I don't know about you like I I don't know how to code. I This is a completely alien language to me, but it's just going in. And honestly, I can't believe we are living in the era of AI because this is insane. And I truly believe that Canva is becoming the one-stop shop and area for creatives and business professionals all around the world. Because I mean, what we can create now with Canva versus what we could do five years ago is eons of what it was then so i'm gonna go ahead and let this compute and i'll probably speed this up and i i will come back Ooh wee it gave me something very similar to what it gave me the first time uh obviously you can play about with um the color scheme which i will show you later on but you can see here that what's really interesting is that let's see it says here fully responsive stacks on mobile which we will test when we put this into a website all right as a widget now if there's anything that you want to adjust you can make those changes by just prompting it in here as you normally would with even you know chat gpt if you're comfortable with already doing that kind of prompting but in this case um to me it looks pretty good I would again just go in and just make sure the math is mathing <laughs> correctly. So, you know, if we were to uh, make, again, this is a tiered commission split. So in Alberta, if we do 6% on the first 100,000 and then 3% on the rest of the balance. So that's the tiered commission um, for flat fee. We'll just do, you know, 3% and then go around. We'll s I, I'm just going to assume that it, that is correct. Okay. Um, and I will also put my prompt here in the pin comment down below in case you want to just copy this and test it out for yourself or copy this into chat GPT and tell it to write you a different scenario. So that way you don't have to start from scratch. So in this case, we're going to go back into this widget here. And what we can do is either use this in a design or publish. So I'm going to go ahead and actually click use in a design and I'm going to hit website. And from here, it's going to populate me into a page like this. And now from here, what we can actually do, if we click on this widget, we should be able to edit the colors, but it's not letting me edit the colors. How come? Hold on. Let's refresh. Transparency, animate position. There usually is. There was, I promise you, there was a button that said we could change colors. Let me pull up my other design here that we did previously. So this is what I had the first time when it generated. It looks very similar to each other, but for some reason, when I click on this, it's not allowing me to change the color. So again, this is the first round that I did. This is the second round that I just did with you. And for some reason, the widgets for the colors is not popping up. I wonder why. You know what's funny? It's every time I want to show something on camera, it doesn't work. But when I do it by myself, 
it works. But any which way, what I'm going to show you is uh, my first draft here, which is the design. So again, I did the same thing. I just turned that Canva into use in design inside a website. It populated open a page that looked just like this. And I went in and I changed some of the colors and even some of the uh, font styles, if you will. And so from here, you could actually just publish this as a website itself, which is what I showed you right from the beginning. That was what that page was. But what is interesting is that because this is a widget, sorry, wrong page. This one here, this is a widget that we can move around. What I figured or what I what I finessed is that you can actually copy this widget and paste it into a, another design. So if you didn't know, I sell Canva templates on Etsy for my real estate agent besties. Yes, shameless plug. I sell templates on my Etsy shop and this is one of my website templates. So this is the multi-page website template and I thought it would be cool to embed that seller net calculator inside one of my pages here so i'm going to go to my sellers page here i'm going to hit edit design actually so i can open this up then i am just going to let's say i'm going to paste this widget in between these two sections here i'm just going to make this a gray color and i'm just going to extend this page here and because we have already copied the widget from the other tab i'm going to right click and just hit paste and it should immediately populate over that exact widget which it did oh my gosh this is so cool um and you know what i think to make this look super seamless what i'm going to do is actually change the background to be um, the same color as the background of the widget so i'm going to click on the background this gray one i'm going to go into here and i'm just going to pick the dropper tool and just click on that so now it looks super seamless all right so in this case you can go ahead and just publish the website but in this case i am just going to go ahead and preview this to see what it looks like i'm going to open this up i embedded it onto the seller guide page here we scroll down we should see the widget is that not so cool that's so cool so cool Again, we have the tiered commission structure, flat commission uh, fee. Again, you can change this to anything. It could be 2%, could be 4%. Again, we can play around with the price. We'll say this is 500, 550. Again, all of these are fields that you can play around with. And this will automatically calculate down here and show the seller the different scenarios as to what could happen if we sell at this price or sell at that price. And because we went to, uh, we did this in the Canva AI generation, it did say that it would make this widget mobile friendly. So let's test that because in the preview menu of the Canva website doc type, we have the desktop here and then we have the mobile one. So if I click on this, it should stack accordingly. And you know what? It's stacking. It is stacking. See that? Is that not so cool? That is so cool. I can't believe Canva can do this. And again, you can embed this onto your website or just just publish it as a single interactive page. That way, if you do go out to a listing presentation, you can just sit down in front of your seller and kind of walk them through this. Or if you do it over Zoom, you can just pull up this page over Zoom and can do this with your sellers right in front of them. And that is it for this tutorial. If you made it to the very end, then you know what it is. You know what to do. Yes, comment down below and crew. So I know you are a real one. And if you enjoyed this Canva AI tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and let me know downstairs in the comments below if you try out Canva AI and how you like it. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And apparently this is what the YouTube algorithm wants you to watch next. So if you're ready, get ready to click in three, two, one.